guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have an Ulta haul to share with you guys today. I have picked up several things over the last couple weeks, some things during the sale, and we're just going to do a get ready with me video so that I can try all of these products out. One that I'm really excited about, and I think a lot of you will be excited as well, is the reformulation of this MAC Studio Fix Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 15 foundation. I hope I got my right shade this time. I went with shade NC12. So I think from the bottle, it looks like it's going to be a good shade match. Um, I have a couple of the new Fenty highlighters. I also have, where did I put it? I have that new um, Too Faced cream bronzer stick. I have quite a few things from the Ultra, uh, Ulta collection. I have the new Tarte XL tubing mascara as well. Um, there might be one or two things that you've seen me try already on my channel, but one thing I'm also excited about is this new little eyeshadow palette from Essence. This is the Emily in Paris palette. So there's just going to be a hot hodgepodge of goodness hopefully in this little haul. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just introduce myself. Hello there, my name is Steph. I love trying new makeup. I'm primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of get ready with me, haul videos, drugstore, high end, and everything in between, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you go. And as usual, I'll have everything that I'm using linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. If you guys want to get ready for the day together, which I hope you guys do whenever I upload these get ready with me videos, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go in with is this new one from NYX. This is their Blur Screen SPF 30 Primer. It's a blurring sunscreen primer. And it says it's um, formulated with cactus flower extract and coconut juice. Let's give this a good shake. I've seen this floating around, making the rounds on social media. Oh, and I opened it the wrong way. But let me just warm it up between my fingertips and start applying. I forgot I had this one. If not, I would have just used a regular moisturizer. That way this one could be my sunscreen, but oh well. Having a little extra sunscreen is definitely no problem for me. This feels good. It feels, feels a little thick. Perhaps that could be because of the sunscreen. Is it blurring? Yeah, it kind of looks like it's blurring. I love a lot of NYX products, so I have a feeling this is going to be really good. I'm going to give this a, like a minute just to settle before we go in with that reformulated MAC foundation. Okay, so let's go in with this one, the Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 15 24-hour matte foundation and oil control. I am not certain, but I have a feeling this was reformulated to have more skincare ingredients. Let me know if you have the original, what your thoughts are. I only have one MAC foundation and it performs really well, but it's a very glowy foundation. I'm going to go in with this new Refer brush and this is their BO2. Don't forget that Refer is still having their 40% off site-wide sale. So think Mother's Day because it'll be here before you know it. Maybe have a birthday, graduation. Who wouldn't love some quality, handmade, all-natural makeup brushes? You guys have seen me use these brushes for years. I am addicted. I am sold. I am a refer brush junkie. Now, I smell just like a makeup scent with this one. I don't know if it says it is... Yeah, no, it doesn't say anything about it being fragrance-free, at least not on the packaging. And I want to say this is going to provide at least a medium, if not buildable, full coverage. 
I think the shade match is so good. Like, it's perfect. The last MAC foundation I got was that glowy foundation that they came out with last year. But that was absolutely beautiful. Even though I am a normal to oily skin type, that foundation just, oh, looks fabulous. But I did pick up the wrong shade. You guys know sometimes it's hard to pick the right shade when you're buying online. But I am able to mix it with those LA Girl uh, like mixing foundation mixing drops to where I was able to add some of the white pigment and just lighten it up without changing the formulation of that foundation. I think this brush is applying the foundation really well. I like it. I'm going to use my damp beauty sponge right now to suppress everything in. And I'm also going to build up a little bit more coverage right here on the sides of my cheeks. Although I'm thinking it looks pretty good, pretty decent coverage. Maybe I won't do that. I'm going to just pump out a little bit more like that and I'm going to take my damp sponge and just use it to press the makeup into the skin. All right, so I'm thinking this looks pretty good. Definitely a good shade match. Now I have two Ulta Beauty brand concealers that I picked up. One's going to be a uh, Youthful Glow Concealer, which is this one over here, and this one is in shade Light Cool. And then the other one I have is a more mattifying concealer. This is their Full Coverage Concealer, and this one is in the shade also Light Cool. I want to see if I can use the, the glowy one under the eye area and see how that's gonna do. And then I'll use the mattifying one on the rest of the complexion. And I'm using my BK Beauty A506 to start blending this out. I have a feeling this is gonna be much lighter coverage, but I still wanna give it a chance. I do see that it does have a bit of a glowy finish to it. Like it looks very hydrating. Oh yeah. Okay, let me let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go in with the more mattifying and this is what I'm gonna use right in this area just to build up that added coverage that I like. Put a little bit up here. And I'll just do a little bit on the chin. I'm going to use my damp sponge. Ulta Collection had just about everything on sale right now. And so I like trying as many affordable products as I can. Obviously, not everything in this haul is affordable, like the Fenty highlighters, for example, and the MAC foundation. But Sometimes you can find some hidden gems within those or within that Ulta collection. And I think the complexion looks really good right now. Even the under eye area looks pretty concealed, pretty hydrated. So loving the way the complexion is looking. Next, I picked up the new Too Faced Cream Bronzer Stick. This one is the Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick Chocolate Mousse. Is that the shade? That's probably the shade, Chocolate Mousse. And that's what it looks like. So let's go in with this. Yeah, this looks more of like a contour shade, which I don't mind. I don't mind. I, majority of the products that I buy when it comes to these types of products um, is more on the bronzing side rather than the contour side. Contour is um, a little more cool toned rather than bronzer, which of course is more warm toned. But I'm going to use my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush to start blending this out. Now I don't do a lot of contouring on my cheekbones. So I'm not the expert. 
but I think I know what I'm doing. Feels like I know what I'm doing. And that is blending out so well. I'm gonna add a little bit, and I'm just gonna pick it up with a brush. I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose. Okay, so I think we are done with our cream products. I have a powder blush and powder highlighter. So what I'm gonna do next is go in with this new setting spray that I picked up from the Ulta Beauty Collection. This is their Glow Mist. Prime this pump. Oh, it looks like it's a it's a light mist. Has a little bit of a scent to it, and it could be a finer mist. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not the best. So we're gonna be glowing today. Oh, I love that. So I picked up a new, I think this is new. I feel like I saw that it was new. The L'Oreal True Match Powder. Super blendable powder in the shade N1. Is this a reformulation? This could be a reformulation because I feel like I have this powder already. But it said new on the Ulta website. So let's try it out you also get a little puff down here at the bottom i'm not going to use that i usually don't like the puffs i stick to my triangular puffs over here but i'm going to use this to set the complexion i'll start setting the under eye area with it and then of course i am going to set my t-zone okay that was quick and that was easy now let's go in next with this Ulta Beauty Collection Mineral Blush. The shade I picked up in this one is called Sweet Pea. And I'm using my, is this my Wet n Wild? No. This is my Wet n Wild? No, this is my BH Cosmetics brush. This is the Diamond Brush. Ugh, rest in peace, BH Cosmetics. We miss you so much. Ooh, oh, pigment on this one. I feel like this has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I don't mind at all. Like I said, there are hidden gems inside not just the Ulta collection, but even the Sephora collection. Don't count them out, especially when it comes to basics like little blushes, highlighters. I even picked up an eyebrow pencil. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that they do well. I wouldn't say that they excel at eyeshadow palettes, but, you know, like other things like that, like I bought a mat mattifying eyeshadow primer that we're going to use today. Um, even eyeliners. I've tried several of their gel eyeliners, and they work just as great as my favorite from LA Girl and from Essence and from NYX. And a lot of the times they put these on sale, buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get one free. I'm loving this blush. You can definitely see the glow. Ooh, could this be a dupe for one of the new Rare Beauty Luminous blushes? Mm, I think so. I think you guys need to run and go check out this mineral blush line from Ulta Beauty. If you don't want to pay the $26 price tag for those Rare Beauty ones because... Look at that glow that it is giving to the complexion. I almost don't even need to go in with those Fenty highlighters. But we're still going to go in with them because I think they're really pretty. Where did I put them? Oh, I think they're still here in the box. Now, I ordered two shades because I just couldn't make up my mind. One of them arrived broken, so the replacement just arrived today. Let me show you the shades I picked up. This one is called Prosecco, and it's like a golden highlighter. And I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand where you can see. So that's Prosecco. The next one, this is the one that had come broken too, too much. This is so, so pretty. This is going to be more of like a peach highlighter, peachy pink highlighter. Too Too Much and Prosecco. Oh, I think they're both going to look beautiful. We're going to use them both. We're going to use them both. I'm going to do one on each side, but then I'm going to end up blending them together. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Too Too Much first on my Olimar Cosmetics highlighter brush. Wow, that just... Oh, I am so glowy. I feel like I almost need to go in with a mattifying blush on top of this. Wow. Okay. 
and clean off the brush. Now we're going to go into, this one's Prosecco. This one was too, too much. I don't know if I got it reversed. Oh, that's beautiful. This is like your everyday highlighter. Well, for those of you that want to be seen from outer space, but this is the glowy highlighter. Oh my God. That's insane. <sighs> I love it. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit over here. Not that I need to, but just so that they can balance out. Don't worry. I'm going to fix this. It's not going to be as glowy. Don't worry. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Natasha Denona Mini My Dream Blush, and I'm only going to focus like on this side of the palette um, because I don't want to get any more of the highlighter. And you can find this. You should be able to find this on the Ulta site just so we can kind of take down this glow, even though I love a glow, but we can take it down a few notches while still keeping that pink undertone that the original mineral blush from the Ulta Beauty collection provided. Oh my God, that is insane. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow, okay, I didn't expect to get this glowy. Maybe I should do a light dusting of the setting powder on top. Let me, let me do that a little bit right there. <laughs> I don't think it helped, but okay. Now for brows, I picked up a repeat purchase for me and I'm just for the sake of time because I'm running short on time, but I picked this one up from the Ulta Beauty collection. It's in the shade. Uh, medium brown. So I'm going to take care of the brows off camera and I'll be right back and we're going to start playing with this Emily in Paris eyeshadow palette. Okay guys, so the brows are on and I did add this mattifying eyeshadow primer also from the Ulta Beauty collection. So that's already on the lids. I want to add some lipstick because I want to get rid of these foundation lips going on. So I'm going to go in with this NYX uh, lip liner. This one is in the shade um, Hotline Hijacker. And I'm just going to apply here. I'm going to be using a really pretty pink lipstick from that Essence and Emily in Paris collection. I hope that's still available. All right, so here is the lipstick that I'm going to be going in with. This one, does it have a shade? This is the packaging. This is the, it's a mattifying lipstick. The shade is, I guess, just Emily in Paris. Yeah, that's what it says. Mm, oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's bright. I have no idea what I'm wearing to work today. I think I'm wearing black pants. But I need to pick a top. All right, so now we're ready to dive into this Emily in Paris eyeshadow palette. This is eyeshadow palette number two, Meet Me at the Eiffel Tower. And I do remember that there was more than one palette, but this is the one I chose to go with. Is that a press glitter? No. Okay, good. No press glitters in this one. Um, let's see very mauve toned palette. So I think I'm going to go in with these are these are the three mattes in the palette. So I'm going to use all three right now and I'll start with this one, work into this one and then go into this one. And I'm using my Singe Beauty E02 brush to apply. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan, so just be careful. All right, with that same brush, I'm going into this next shade here. I'm going to focus that on the outer corner and a little bit lower on the crease. Now I'm going to go in with this shade here, and I'm using the Singe E04. Focus that right out here. I'm going to bring it on the lid as well. Okay, so next I want to try this purple shade here. Do the purple and maybe this pink down here. 
Ooh, this one looks really pretty too. Maybe this one for the inner corner. I'm going to try working with these three shades. You can kind of see them a little bit better when I tilt it. But these three shades right here. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. That's pretty. I wish there was like a deeper shade in this palette. I feel like I could have benefited from like a dark brown or a matte black. But I know this is supposed to be kind of whimsical, lovey-dovey, airy. So yeah, I guess it fits with the, the overall theme. All right, now I flipped the brush over and I'm going into that lighter pink. These are more textured shimmers. Just FYI. And I'm spraying the brush because that's how I'm getting maximum payoff from these. All right. All right, that looks cool. I don't know what's going on with my eye over here. It was acting funny yesterday. Um, and I'm still trying to like get the blend perfect on this side. And I don't know what's going on. I'm not really, look at that. I'm not really liking the blend I'm getting. I feel like there's a line there and I don't know why. I'm like just trying to blend this. The other eye is good, but I don't know. I don't really like this one. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here for the inner corner. Actually, let's do something on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the deeper red shade for the lower lash line. And I'm using a BK210. Now, on that same brush, I'm taking that light pink that I showed you guys for the inner corner, and I did spray the brush. Now, I do have a new eyeliner that I picked up from About Face, and I think it's going to go perfectly with this look. I did the best I could with this palette. I am not 100% sold on this palette. Um, feels a little, well, it is cheap, but it feels cheap. Like, I'm not just, I'm not getting that blend that I really want. I mean, I still think I was able to pull off the look. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in with this gold right here and just kind of pop it right here in the center before I add like eyeliner and mascara. And that helps a little bit. I mean, it looks good. It looks shiny. It looks pretty, but it's just this part right here, I'm not really a big fan of, but okay, we'll go with it. This is the eyeliner that I picked up from About Face, and this one is in the shame um, Lime Artist. Is that, no, is that what the name of it is? Lime Artist? No. Leave Me Breathless. That is the name of it. And I'm just going to swatch it really quick on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. We'll throw this in the water line, see if it shows up. Yeah, it's there. All right, now I'm going to give, actually, no, I'm going to have to do this off camera, but um, where is the mascara? Because I wanted to show you guys the, oh, here it is. So I got the travel size of the Tarte Extra Large Tubing Mascara, and I just want to show you guys the wand really quick. I'm a huge fan of the original Tarte Tubing Mascara, so I feel like this is going to work out great. It is a plastic applicator. So I'm going to take care of the finishing touches off camera. Did I mention this is going to be a wear test? I'm going to wear test this all day, 10, 11 hours, um, and I'll give you my thoughts. I'll show you guys how all the makeup is looking um, when I get home from work. But um, let me go take care of the finishing touches. That way I can show you guys the completed look before I head out for the day. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look. I think it all came together really nicely. I'm loving the lipstick. And let's see, the eyeshadow palette is the only thing I'm a little skeptical on. We'll see how it looks at the end of the day. I think the Tarte Tubing Mascara, look at that lash line definition on the lower lashes. I think that's really good. Um, what else? Okay, so the MAC foundation, I'm going to be interested to see. I don't have the original to compare to know what that one was like, but um, we definitely went in with some glowy products. I love the Fenty High. 
highlighters and I love that mineral blush from the Ulta Beauty collection. I think so far the concealer looks really good um, and the NYX primer with SPF genius idea. I think I'm really going to get a lot of use out of that one. And let's see, oh, the bronzer, the um, the Too Faced bronzer stick slash contour stick, I like that. I think it blended out really well and does have that little scent of cocoa powder, which a lot of the Too Faced products tend to do. So I'm anxious to see how this face of makeup is going to hold up. I will check in with you guys. I will conclude this video um, at the end of the day when I return from work. But I think so far, so good. Wish me luck. You guys have a great day. Day and I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so here's what the makeup is looking uh, like 10 hours later. I think it looks really good. I'm really impressed with this newly reformulated MAC uh, Studio Fix Matte Foundation. Um, I didn't do any touch-ups today. This is how the complexion has held up. Look at this Essence lipstick. No touch-ups. I ate uh, a little something for breakfast. I ate lunch, I had a little snack before I left work, and it's still it's still somewhat on. Definitely a very glowy complexion. The Fenty highlighters are beautiful, as is the mineral blush from Ulta, um, the Ulta collection. I think that the glowy concealer looks really good, really good with that L'Oreal setting powder. I just think the full face of makeup is looking pretty decent. The eyeshadow, I would say, is probably the weakest point or the weakest product of this Ulta haul, but you know, it's not bad. I made it work. I just, I think everything looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Liking the NYX primer with the sunscreen and I'm gonna, um, the shirt that I'm wearing, I don't know if you guys can see it. It like matches the tube. I don't have the primer here, but it's like the ombre effect, the same colors of uh, that NYX primer tube. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got this little blouse here from Shein. I get a lot of my clothes from Shein, but yeah, I think it was a pretty good makeup day. Let me know your thoughts. Have you picked up any of these products? Maybe I influenced you or inspired you to pick up some of these goodies maybe they are on sale right now um the mac foundation just dropped so i wanted to pick that up but a lot of the stuff i bought from the ulta beauty collection was on sale so sound off in the comments down below let me know if any of these goodies are going to be in your future i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated drink that water and i'm going to see you all very soon bye